Hi, this is Kurt from Themify. Today I'm going to be walking you through on how you can recreate our Parallax homepage using our Themify Builder. Let's get started. First, let's start by creating a new page. Let's put a title. Scroll down and press this for the sidebar option and full width for the content width. Press yes to hide the page title and then scroll down again. And for the header type, click slider. Now I already prepared a short code here, but to find where we got this short code, simply just go to our documentation page and you'll be able to find where I got all my short codes from. All right. I'm going to uncheck the allow comments. Publish. And view page. Because I inserted that short code, you can see that I have a slider on top over here. Now that we've got our page set up, let's turn on our builder. Now that our builder is turned on, let's start with our first row. Let's insert a text module to write our title. I want to show off our services. I'm going to put a little subheading. I like using heading 2 and for my subheading I use heading 3. I'm going to select all and center it and click save. Now I'm going to drag another text module at the same row and I've already prepared a short code, two short codes actually. So this first short code is where the services will be highlighted and the animation and the bottom short code shows the button that says more services and I'm going to click save. Again all short codes can be found in our documentation page. All right. Now I want to change the font color here and here, but instead of having to change them one at a time in each module, I'm going to go to my row options here, and I'm going to change the font color. to black. Now if you scroll up you'll see that we can actually change the background image. So I'm going to browse my library and I'm going to choose a background. I'm going to use this one. And here's the cool part. For the background mode you can actually choose what kind of background uh, how the background image, what kind of effect it'll have. So we've got repeat all, repeat horizontally. But since we're doing a parallax example, we're going to use parallax scrolling. All right. And I'm just going to change the padding on the top and for the bottom so that each row is not too close to each other. I'm going to press save. And once you save here, and you close the builder, you'll see how the image is one whole image and it has parallax scrolling. You scroll up and down. Now let's continue. Let's turn on the builder again and let's go to our next row. For our next row, we're going to insert another text module to write our title for it. And for this one, we're going to show off our portfolio. Now, you can type any subheading you want. And I'm just going to stick to the usual setting for it. Now we're going to insert another text module in the same row, same row again. And same thing as before, I've already prepared 
a short code here. And you'll see it says portfolio category. And I want to insert another button style. But notice how the button style on the one before, it was on to the left. This time, I want to put it in the middle. And I'm going to click Save. And there you have it. Now, in order for you, for you to have images that pop out after you insert the short code, you have to make sure that you actually have portfolio posts um, made already beforehand. So make sure to make portfolio posts first so that when you make the short code, something will appear. Now, I'm going to go to my row option again. And I'm going to change the font as well as the padding. to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm just going to change the background color. Since I'm only changing the color, I don't have to choose a background mode. And since I'm using a black background color, I'm going to use a white font color. And to be consistent, I'm just going to use the same 4% for the top and bottom padding. And I'm going to click Save. Cool. Now I'm going to make our third row, which is our, which is going to showcase our social media stuff. Oops. Click Save just for the title. And the same row again. Now again, the documentation page will have all these short codes. And it'll teach you step by step on how to make all of them. So save. Now you'll see here that it looks like this. However, when you open it again, it's just reading the short code, you'll see how it suddenly changes. So you see how it shows off the likes you have on your page, some Instagram pictures, and also your latest tweets. Now I'm going to change, I'm going to go to my row options again. And let's use another picture. So since I used a dark one, just make sure to always go for parallax scrolling whenever you insert a picture, just so that it's not going to repeat or look kind of weird. Use white, since I use a dark image on top. And the padding, I'm going to keep it at 4%. And there we go, our social row. And now we're going to create a contact form. It's really important in every website to have a contact form so that your viewers, your visitors will be able to have a place to communicate with you, other than your social media, that is. Now it's going to be the same thing as before. We're going to insert the same text module. And I'm just going to copy a short code that I've already prepared. Now usually if it's something long like this, don't worry about it. It just needs to refresh a little bit. Um, when you click Save and then you close the the builder 
and then you refresh the page. Let's just reload this page. You'll see how it'll just load no matter what. Let's turn the builder back on so we can edit the row as well and add the padding. So let's keep it at 4% again. And the font color is kind of grayish, so I'm going to make it all black. And let's, let's insert another image. Hmm. So let's insert this one. And remember to always choose parallax scrolling to have that nice effect. And then let's save that. All right. Now again, don't worry about the short code looking like this. Once you save and you close the page, you'll actually see the contact form. Now let's move on to our next row. Let's do some animated bars. And let's insert another text. And here is a short code for it. So for each progress bar, there's a, there's a specific short code. So this is one, this bar will be called hello bars any color, any width, any text, and awesome. So that's one, two, three, four, five short codes. And we're going to insert it. And you'll see hello bar, any color, any width, any text, awesome. And there's different colors already built into it. Now, what I'm going to do is maybe I'll just change the color for this one. Hmm. something light and maybe change the font color to white and keep it consistent 4% padding it's been looking good with the 4% alright that looks really good and let's move on to our next row now let's showcase our team members our team meet our lovely growing team now this is very similar to the portfolio where you have to make sure that you already have something inputted before putting in the short code going to paste that short code then we're going to click save I'm going to adjust the options and I am going to use a background image hmm. let's just use this one and the Remember to always choose parallax. Change the font color. And save. All right. And there you'll see the picture of your team members, their names, their title, their social media, and you'll also see their skills where you can highlight through a progress bar looking 
style. Now let's move on to our last row where we will have our call to action row. Buy this theme now or see more demos. As you can see, I've been using the same exact format for my headings and my subheadings to make it, you know, look different. Because you don't want to make your page look too confusing. Now I want to put three buttons in our call to action um, row. So I just copied and pasted that. And I also centered it just to make sure that these three buttons are placed at the center, not on the side. So I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to do the same thing we did before. I'm just going to change the background to black. And I'm going to change the font color to white. I'm going to keep the padding the same as 4%. and I'm going to press save. There we go. That's our call to action page. I mean, row. I'm going to click save just to make sure that everything's saved. And I'm going to close and refresh my page. So we've got a parallax with an animated services, sliding the slider top row, our portfolio, our get social section, and our maps with our contact form, our animated bars showing off our team. It's a beautiful, nice parallax scrolling, and of course, our call to action. And that's how you do the parallax homepage. Thanks.